Oh yeah, baby. Let's start off the Bounty Hunter Daily Main with the nuts on the river. Now we covered the guy with $34, but either way, we're going for the bounties. Let's see what these guys have. It's nice to hit the, the, the nuts on the river for once in a while. I do apologize for that. My antivirus has expired apparently, really. Well, we pick up the chips. Good enough for me. Hey guys, Mike Pang Gangster here. We have hit two pairs. We have decided to raise uh, three bet the the pre flop. The guy ended up calling. We ended up hitting two pairs. We're gonna bet three point eight. So we're playing two tournaments. We're playing the one hundred and fifty dollar uh, bounty uh, Thursday throwdown, whatever you want to call it. And we also are still in the uh, 54 Bounty Daily Main. So we're going to continue with this one for sure. I don't want to bet too much, but maybe like 8.1 big blinds. A bit less than 50% pot. The reason for that is uh, give an opportunity for my opponent to call. Unfortunately, he doesn't call, so we could ship it on the river, but that does not happen. But anyway, so we pick up some chips. Hopefully, this tournament goes as good as we want so we got ace jack under the gun we actually are going to limp just to see the action behind us sometimes when you limp you look extremely strong sometimes you may look weak but this time we will find out soon enough because we need to win this hand. If not, we are most we are eliminated. So we gotta win this hand. What is this guy gonna do? What is James Bond gonna do? Double seven. Does double seven have something in mind like a raise? Doesn't raise. Might as well continue the story. If we look strong, might as well bet. Because if we don't bet, we give him the opportunity to see that four. We don't want that. Pocket hands on the cutoff. Somebody has an open. We've been three betting already twice. This time we're going to be limping and hoping that we hit the 10. We don't. We're getting close to the money over here on the, um, the 54. We're going to call. We need to see a 10. Not a deuce, a 10. <laughs> Most likely he's gonna continue betting here. The question is, do we die with pocket 10s? We're gonna call one more time for sure. You know, sometimes you're gonna have a king, sometimes you won't. Let's hit a 10, make it easier. Not the card we wanna see. If he jams, I think we're just going to fold. I don't see him three, man. I just don't see him barreling three times and not having it. We still have half a stack, unfortunate. It's not a run out. So eh, we'll move on to the next hand. Okay, so we got ace 10 suited with nine big blinds left. Now you stack the tournament with uh, basically 50,000 in chips. We have 18,000, a little under uh, half a stack. 
I just call, see if I hit. I think I'm gonna call first. See if I hit an ace or a 10. We don't. Gives us two chances at a double up if we just We got five big blinds here. We're in the money. We're not gonna go with that end, of course. Do I believe him? Hmm. Do I believe him? Leave him a little bit less now. A little bit less now. Hmm. Oh, I've been wrong so many times. So many times I've been wrong. just an easy bet for this guy it's like it's easy for him to be bluffing it's easy for him to be bluffing in the spot I think I'm just gonna call I mean sometimes you just have to be right right and this time I seem to be right no can I fade the river and I could I think Sometimes you just got a hero call when you feel that someone's bluffing. <clears throat> okay, so we got 10-9 off suit here. We're one away from the pay jump. I think we're going to go with this hand because this hand usually is not a hand that will like have what my opponent has my opponent usually will have like an ace king ace queen ace jack so i have some sort of odds of like maybe winning a flip here because most likely this guy is going to end up calling too so so we're going to gamble see if we connect this guy should call he's getting over fifty dollars in bounties. We're also gonna make a call over here. He's got the ace ten. That's definitely not what I wanted to see. So we need a six, a nine, or a jack. And that is a six. And that is a six. We survive. That's crazy. almost forgot that was in this hand so we're gonna fold here I'm gonna make a little bet here he ends up checking which is a bit weird after an open okay well we win that one too so it looks like we're uh, chipping up so we do pick up pocket jacks in the cutoff in the $54 daily main we do get an open here from BG Loco I think I'm gonna three bet. I'm not gonna go all in. I'm gonna three bet for 4.5 big blinds, unless this guy goes all in. I wanna look strong. And we also have pocket fives on the other table, which we will definitely open. Now I could shove here easily, but I kinda wanna like make a raise, make it look like I'm really, really strong. See what he does. We're um, two options here. You could either shove or call for two big blinds. We're gonna call. We are gonna make a bet here, very small one actually. If he calls, we're going to shut down. If he goes all in, 
We're gonna fold. Let's hope he doesn't have an ace. Oh boy, we have a situation here. Are we gonna bust both tournaments at the same time? <laughs> I may consider calling here. I may consider calling here, just give me a second. Let's check. Ah. This is usually very, very strong. We're gonna let it go, actually. We are going to let it go. If this guy goes all in, well, we made, we made the euro call before. We were right on this table. Ah, uh, does he have the ace, or did he have the flush draw, or does he have some other pocket pair? We have. Oh my God, man. called he didn't shove he called when I three betted him for a very small amount interesting does he always have an ace here I'm just not good enough to fold this hand I think he's got the ace not fortunate we're not we're not running I mean we go all in he's still calling so we pick up $131 there, um, that one's done. In this one here, we are still in it for now with 16 big blinds. Uh, that's basically uh, almost a starting stack because you start with 50,000, so we got 40K, so whatever. Hey man, we, we, we made money off that tournament. I guess we gotta be okay with it. Am I happy with the call? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment if it's a good call, bad call. I kind of, kind of hard to fold sometimes in that spot, especially when it's easy for someone to be bluffing in that spot. They could easily have a smaller pocket pair there because he didn't rejam when I for when I three betted him. So it's kind of like he could have a lot of like the smaller pocket pairs there also. Pocket kings on the button. Got to open for 2.2. I want to like hope someone initiates a um, a shove. We want to see action, and we see it. So raindrop and just luck AA. So three-way pot. Can we hold? Can we triple up? Can we just one time for GG poker? Can we do it one time? One time, let's do it, come on. What do you have? Ace, nine, pocket queens. So far, so good. Still looking good. Looking very good. We triple up in the 150 Thursday throwdown. Now we have a lot of chips. So we got ace king here. We're gonna three bet Mr. Brazilian here on my right. Let's make it 5.5. Let's hope this guy goes all in. He's worth $70. He does. Well, we're never folding. Ace Queen. We got that dominated. Can we win though? So far so good 93 percent put a green card make me happy okay put a black card you still make me happy 70 dollars baby hey by the way have you guys ever hit the jackpot thing over here because i've yet to ever hit one i'm kind of surprised throughout the years i've been playing this game that i haven't had one single jackpot yet 
which I find extremely a bit weird. I don't know. We are getting cards. We are in the small blind with pocket aces. This time, we are going to, I feel like opening shove. We're gonna make it eight big blinds. I felt like just shoving for 50 bigs. I hope this guy shoves, he doesn't. Mm. Somebody open shoves for 10 big blinds. We have Ace Jack. I'm actually going to go to call. Queen 10. Okay, so we're ahead. Good flop. And we got him. Another $35 going our way. A little over 100 collected. So we're pretty much almost free rolling here because we made money on the other one also. So hey, hopefully we keep running good. So I open. E3 bets. I think he thinks that I was trying to steal this guy's blind, but I'm not. So we're going to rip it in for 62 bigs. He does have a hand. <laughs> wow. Really? Not only does he have a hand, he has the hand. But can we hit the back door flush? Or we're gonna get lucky we do wow very lucky very very lucky didn't believe him sometimes that pays off i'm fortunate for this guy but hey man like the way the scenario happened it looked like he was trying to basically uh knock me off the hand because the guy has an 87 dollar bounty so maybe he thought i was going for the bounty but he actually had a hand but hey lucky for us we end up winning uh Winning that end, wow. I think we're gonna gamble here versus this guy. We don't have a great end at all, but just because he's nuts. Um, $70, 14 bigs. We're in good shape with big blinds here, so let's, let's just go for it. Let's hunt a bounty. Let's see if we get lucky versus this guy. So, open-ended. Now we need either a two or a seven. Can GG do it for us on the river? They don't. That's okay. We're, we're okay with the gamble there. Okay, we're getting close to the money. We have pocket aces in the on the button here. We are going to ship it in. We are going to ship it in. We're not going to 3-bet this. We're going to ship it in. Someone wants to call us. We have a big bounty on our head, $105. Good luck to us. We need to win this end. Nobody called, but we pick up the blinds. So we have officially made the money. And we have pocket kings and a small blind. Now we cover two people. We cover two people. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna limp. Wait, should we limp? The thing is, this guy will call me no matter what. He's just fucking, this guy's just crazy. He will call me no matter what. I'm just going to ship it in. Because I know he's going to call me no matter what. Yeah, he's going to call me. Like I said. Let's hope he doesn't have an ace. He does. We got to avoid the ace. Oh. No heart. GG. GG. <laughs> ah, you thought you almost had me there. Eh, 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 eh. This is not your turn. King Jack of Hearts. Let's do something here. I want to see this guy fold. Let me play my hand. Raise it up. Gotta 
use it up. Hopefully this guy comes in. He doesn't. If he jams, we fold. We're gonna fold, but I honestly believe he's fucking around, but... We're gonna fold, we're gonna fold. We're gonna fold. I wanna see that hand though, what was it gonna be? Okay, we're, we're happy, we're happy. So we opened. This guy on my left called. Walter Rip shoved it. And Alec Chappelle went all in. You know what? Alex Chappelle. This guy is crazy too. I'm actually gonna call this because I, I, I know this guy is crazy. I know he's crazy. He's Jack. He actually had it. We need a eight. We need hearts. That sucks. Good hand to him. I thought he was bluffing. He's been shoving a lot of fucking crazy hands. This guy seems very, very happy. Very, very happy. <laughs> so $338. We went for the bounties there. You have to understand. I want to uh, base myself on what I've seen on the table from this guy. He is a lunatic. He caught 26 big blinds with king six suited just for a mini bounty. That's the reasoning of my call there with the ace eight. I feel like he's just basically doing that with any any Broadway type of hand. Unfortunately, this time he actually had the ace jack, which basically dominated me. But I'm okay with the call. Uh, we make profit. We make profit both tournaments. So, hey, you know what I mean? Sometimes you got to go for it. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. We got lucky a few times, you know. But it is what it is. Sometimes you, uh, you know, you go deeper and sometimes you don't. So, we make money. That's the most important thing. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.